In a bold declaration, scientists have announced the discovery of a brand new planet, one unlike any previously identified. NASA, celebrated for its pioneering efforts, has disclosed that this newly found celestial body is remarkable not only because of its dimensions and position, but also due to the fact that it emits light that appears to be artificial in nature. Could this groundbreaking discovery hint that we are on the brink of uncovering mysteries that could drastically reshape our perception of the cosmos? Does it ignite curiosity about the likelihood of life on planets beyond Earth? As we delve into NASA's astonishing findings, we may be on the verge of exposing the truth behind these unusual luminous emissions. In 2007, NASA launched the Dawn spacecraft with the purpose of examining some of the most captivating objects within our solar system. Outfitted with three ion propulsion engines, Dawn commenced a mission that began with a 14-month observational study of Vesta, the second-largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. The probe relayed intricate images and scientific data, revealing Vesta's elaborate terrain and rich geological evolution. Once its mission at Vesta was completed, Dawn embarked on arguably the most exhilarating part of its voyage, an extensive investigation of the dwarf planet series. Thanks to its ion propulsion system, Dawn was able to escape Vesta's orbit and set course for Ceres, a maneuver unachievable with conventional chemical propulsion. These ion engines provided consistent thrust, allowing Dawn to traverse vast distances and settle into a stable orbit around Ceres. Ceres, discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, is the largest object within the asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter. For many years, it was deemed the smallest dwarf planet in the solar system until its reclassification in 2006. Measuring about 950 kilometers in diameter, Ceres stands out as the most sizable and massive body in the asteroid belt, rendering it highly intriguing due to its distinct attributes. Scientists eagerly awaited high-resolution visuals of this enigmatic world, which eventually revealed bright spots scattered across its landscape, especially within a large crater named Decatur. These radiant areas immediately piqued the interest of researchers. Before Dawn's arrival, the best images we had of Ceres were blurry, low-resolution captures from the Hubble Space Telescope. Much about this dwarf planet remained unknown, and the chance to obtain close-up imagery promised a treasure trove of new scientific insights. The Dawn mission aimed to enhance our comprehension of the solar system's origins and the influence water has had in shaping celestial bodies. The reflective areas on Ceres, also seen on other asteroids, were believed to be made up of highly reflective substances, probably salts left behind by evaporating water. This indicated the potential presence of cryovolcanism on Ceres, a process where volcanoes expel not molten rock, but fluids such as water or briny mixtures. The exact nature of these glowing spots and what they reveal about Ceres remains an open topic for investigation. Do they signify ongoing geological processes? or could they point to something even more astonishing? Ceres distinguishes itself from other objects in the asteroid belt due to its size, composition, and likelihood of harboring water and ice. Unlike the typically rocky composition of most asteroids, Ceres comprises a mixture of water ice and volatile compounds, hinting that it may contain crucial information about the early solar system. After two years of travel, Dawn began its approach to Ceres in early 2015 marking a pivotal moment as it prepared to transmit the first close-range images of this massive object. As the spacecraft neared Ceres, a previously veiled world came into view. The initial images showcased a crater-pocked surface, suggesting a long history of collisions. But it was the presence of bright areas dotting the otherwise dark and rocky surface that captivated both scientists and the general public. As image resolution improved, Experts proposed multiple theories about the origin of these luminous spots. Could they be ice patches reflecting sunlight, or something even more exotic? Speculations included mineral deposits and signs of cryovolcanic processes. Surprisingly, detailed observations revealed that the brightest area was not a singular feature, but a collection of multiple reflective points. The leading hypothesis was that these areas consisted of salt deposits formed by the sublimation of surface water or brine. This discovery implied that Ceres might have, or may still exhibit, internal geological activity capable of transporting salty liquids to the surface, 
where they vaporize, leaving behind highly reflective residues. These findings contradicted previous assumptions about Ceres, introducing a fresh understanding of this dynamic world. The idea that subsurface reservoirs of briny water could exist raises exciting possibilities regarding the habitability of locations far from Earth. Ceres is often described as an icy celestial body with a porous, rocky exterior. In contrast to most asteroids composed mainly of rock and metal, Ceres' surface is a blend of water ice and hydrated minerals such as carbonates and clays, giving it a lower density. This unique structure suggests that roughly half of its volume consists of water ice. The planet's internal makeup is thought to feature a muddy mantle encasing a core, potentially made up of denser materials like silicate rock. The significant presence of water ice indicates that liquid water may have existed in Ceres' past, possibly due to heat from radioactive decay during its early formation. This sets Ceres apart from other asteroids and brings up compelling questions about its potential for geological processes and the part water may have played in its development. Moreover, the identification of ammonia-bearing clays on Ceres hints that it may have originated in a more distant and colder region of the solar system before migrating inward. The presence of ammonia is significant, as it can lower water's freezing point, making surface brines more stable. These findings not only enrich our understanding of this intriguing dwarf planet, but also provide insights into the broader mechanisms involved in the formation of icy worlds across the solar system. Cryovolcanism, a rare and intriguing form of geological activity, contrasts sharply with the more familiar volcanic eruptions on Earth. While Earth's volcanoes expel molten rock, cryovolcanoes release substances such as water, ammonia, or methane, substances that remain liquid or gaseous in the frigid environments of celestial bodies like Ceres. Cryovolcanoes allow salty liquid mixtures from beneath the surface to rise, and once exposed to space's vacuum, the liquid rapidly sublimates, transforming directly into gas and leaving behind glistening salt deposits. The most famous of these is located within the Ecator Crater, particularly in an area known as Spot 5. This location has garnered widespread attention due to its intense reflectivity and the periodic changes observed by the Dawn spacecraft. These fluctuations are believed to be the result of water sublimation, implying that cryovolcanic activity may still be ongoing or has occurred recently. Beyond Spot 5, Ceres contains numerous other bright patches, each with its own distinct characteristics. Their distribution across the surface implies that cryovolcanism may be a widespread occurrence on the dwarf planet. As Dawn continued to send back increasingly detailed images, a wide array of surface features emerged. Ceres's landscape is dotted with craters, each telling a story about its formation and evolution. The mission not only revealed Ceres as geologically active, but also challenged previous notions that small, distant bodies are static and lifeless. In reality, Ceres appears to be a lively and complex world, shaped by processes similar to those on more massive planetary bodies. The possibility that briny water might still exist beneath the surface raises crucial questions about whether conditions for life could be present, not only on Ceres but also on other icy worlds like Europa and Enceladus. These findings have made Ceres a prime candidate in the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life. Moreover, understanding how such cryovolcanic activity is sustained, whether through radioactive decay or gravitational forces, could unlock new knowledge about the evolution of other frozen bodies in the outer solar system. Each impact crater, with its unique formation, helps reconstruct the narrative of solar system history. Whether these impacts resulted from collisions with asteroids or other cosmic objects, they add to the diverse geological profile of Ceres and its role within the grand tapestry of planetary evolution. The discovery of ammonia further supports theories about Ceres' formation in colder regions, with its current position being the result of orbital migration. As researchers continue to study the structure and surface of Ceres, their discoveries are reshaping our understanding of how planets and moons develop, the possibilities for life elsewhere, and the driving forces behind geological activity in extreme environments. Once dismissed as just another icy asteroid, Ceres has emerged as a fascinating and unexpected world that defies conventional expectations. The Dawn mission, through its meticulous data collection, has been instrumental in unveiling these insights.
It provided the most comprehensive visuals and scientific information ever gathered about Ceres, solidifying its legacy in planetary exploration. Every new image beamed back from the spacecraft revealed a little more about the planet's secrets, showcasing a vibrant and ever-changing world. These discoveries mark only the beginning of what promises to be a continued journey of exploration into the far reaches of our solar system. In the future, scientists will undoubtedly continue dissecting the data from dawn, searching for further clues about the potential for life and geological activity on Ceres and similar celestial bodies. With technological progress and new missions on the horizon, we can expect even more surprising findings. Will we uncover more indicators of cryovolcanism or find deeper evidence of subsurface water? Only time will reveal the answers, but one certainty remains. The story of Ceres is far from finished.